I'm making big, giant ginger chicken meatballs. These meatballs have infinite amounts of flavor. To get started on my meatballs, I've got one and a half pounds of ground chicken here. I'll start with one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. So these meatballs are my version of Shanghainese lion's head meatballs, and they're typically braised with some type of green vegetable to look like the lion's mane. Usually they're made with ground pork, but I typically make them with ground chicken just to lighten them up a bit. Two tablespoons of cornstarch is gonna help the meatballs bind together and then also give them a nice firm texture. One tablespoon of sambal olek, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Two stalks of scallions, finely sliced, two teaspoons of finely grated fresh ginger. I'll also grate in two cloves of garlic. Half a cup of panko breadcrumbs is gonna help bind these meatballs together. Two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of unsweetened rice vinegar to get some acidity in here, two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. I do not leave any flavors out of these meatballs. Everybody is invited to this meatball party. And lastly, an egg to help hold everything together. Yum. I am going to eyeball these into six equal portions to make six great big balls. These look good. Before I get cooking these, I'll dust them on the outside with some cornstarch, and that's gonna help give the meatballs a crisp shell. I've got half an inch of neutral oil heating in my bracer. This is an oven-safe pot so that I'll be able to transfer it to the oven. I'll space them out evenly. You can smell them already. These will go for a few minutes until they're golden brown on the bottom, and then I'll flip them over and get them crisp on the other side. Oh yeah, hello. Now that these are folded on both sides, I'll transfer them back to my original plate. It smells too good in here. I'll remove this from the heat, drain off all of the oil while I get my cabbage and braising liquid ready. I've got two cups of low sodium chicken stock. Without the braising liquid, they could dry out. No dry meatballs are allowed on this farm. Three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of sambal olek. This is just chilies, some salt, and some vinegar. Yeah, I'll get this combined. I'll assemble this all into my brazer. I'll nestle in some Napa cabbage here, cut into wedges. I'll distribute the meatballs evenly between the Napa cabbage wedges. This is all just gonna cook together and get so tasty. I'll lay some of the outer leaves of the cabbage on top. And I'll bring this braising liquid to a boil and then cover it up and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for an hour. It feels like a long time, but it's gonna be so worth it. These smells have been haunting me. I am ready for this. Dang, it smells good. I'll garnish with some scallions for a pop of bright greenery. And I'm gonna go in. I can feel how tender they are. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm getting that ginger and the sweetness from the hoisin. Every single one of my taste buds are satisfied with these meatballs. 